Okay, since I've had more than a few people ask me about this, I thought I'd show you. Uh, right now, I'm uh, moving my autofocus point all the way over here to the left. Okay, now I'm going to go into menu, and you see I'm in autofocus menu, and now I'm going to interlock a spot, auto exposure, and focus area right here at the bottom, and of course it is turned on. But right now, I am in matrix metering, at least what I call matrix metering, and uh, you can see and my exposure in the bottom left of the screen here doesn't really change much as I bring that autofocus spot. You can see I'm at 100th of a second f2.8 over here, so my autofocus box, which is over here on the far left of the screen, does not really change the exposure, so what I have to do is not only select auto exposure interlock on the screen, but go into spot metering. Now you'll notice that this little square on the far left or wherever I place it on the screen, wherever I want to put it, my autofocus zone, which is small right now, is interlocked. I can make it any point that I want. It needs to be, however, in single point. So I can make it bigger or smaller, but as long as it's in single point, you'll notice as I bring it over, check my exposure here in the bottom left, okay? As I bring that box immediately over, the white of the light box immediately drops. And of course, I'm getting wissy wig feedback off the LCD screen. But now, my exposure is interlocked. And why is this so incredibly useful? This is so useful. See, you have to be in single point. This is so incredibly useful. Let me move my zone over. I don't know. Let's say I want to move it up here. Okay. That means that I can place it here. I'm going to take a look at my composition, but I want a meter for right here. Holding my shutter release button in halfway, my exposure is locked. I can recompose a bit. You need to make sure that everything was within your depth of field zone. I can, uh, like that. I can meter, focus, recompose a bit, and shoot. So if I have a, ski a scene or a composition with various uh, gradations of feedback, I often use spot metering and Nikon. But Nikon doesn't have this feature where when I move my autofocus point, it immediately also shifts when I'm in spot metering mode, shifts my uh, spot metering point. My spot metering is always right there in the dead center. So this interlocks my autofocus point with also my spot metering. So wherever I move my autofocus point on my screen, that is also where my spot metering is locked to. And if I want to make it a little bit bigger, same thing. Okay, I'm going to select it now. I move it over here. I'm going to bring that. You see this? As soon as the box comes in front there, see exposure in bottom left. Okay, notice as the box enters into that area, it immediately. There you go. So I hope I explained that, and uh, this is a feature you should use. So now, when I want to uh, specifically meter a certain area that I know is like 18% gray reflectance wherever I want, I can throw my camera into spot metering mode, which I just took it out of. I always have my interlock on, and uh, that way I can interlock my uh, autofocus area with uh, my metering, and that is insanely handy. Yes, indeedy. Thanks for watching. Bye.